Treatment Council, the majority of them leased uh, 300 sections of blood tribal land for hydraulic fracking to two companies, Murphy and Bowen. And we wrote letters, everything, uh, you know, sessions like this. I even wrote the letter to the, the Prime Minister, who then gave my letter to the uh, Director of, I guess it's changed now, last night, today officially, Indian Affairs Minister John, Dun uh, John Duncan. He sent my letter to the Regional uh, Indian Affairs Minister George R. Can, which uh, wrote me three letters of rubbish of uh, me to write another letter to three health uh, uh, water testing officials then at the end says but uh, nevertheless we're still concerned about water on first nations reserve well last night uh, three of my friends all ladies one a grandmother got thrown in for stopping uh, uh, truck semis about 40 of them um, and they got thrown in and the police were just uh, following their instructions and they weren't released till seven o'clock this morning so I've had very little sleep to make sure nothing happened to them uh, in the jail cell and the chief of the blood reserve chief Charlie Weasley had phoned all over the place other oil uh, uh, company their lawyers and other lawyers to try and find what kind of charge to charge Indians because the initial charge was going to be an illegal gathering how can you have an illegal <laughs> gathering on an Indian reserve and the Indians are members of that reserve? <laughs> so they uh, did try to charge in the wee hours of the night and I haven't talked to my colleagues. They finally released them. They're pretty tired. And I do ask for your support because that fracking is going to, uh, if it leaks out as it's drawn here, and I believe it's going to leak out and the land falling on the aquifers it's going to affect all of the agricultural, recreational, whatever industry in southern Alberta, from Lethbridge all the way to Mansonette to Hudson Bay. And so again, I have been given the runaround, and I really believe the sabotage, the conspiracy of documents between the federal government, the provincial government, and the Indian oil gas that supposedly holds the fiduciary responsibility for my health, a good quality of life, and like somebody said, we all have a right to a good quality of life. And nobody should take that away, whether an Indian or a First Nations or a non-Indian. Alberta, like Jessica Alvina said, I like where I live. 
I like, but I did not know I was drinking water for about 10 years that had uh, benzene and uranium from 98 to almost 2006. They tested my water at that time and told me that it was E. coli. I asked for my updated chemical re uh, results this past February. It had benzene and uranium. I did another update result this year, uh, back in April. This time it had vinyl chloride, a fracking fluid. Bonavista fracked about less than 800 or 400 meters from my house. Never told anybody, and we still don't have a provincial disclosure on fracking fluids. I think that needs to be pushed for. But even before I even say that, I don't even want to know the fracking fluids. I'm just saying no to fracking, simple yeah. as that. And I think we should all do that. from happening on our land. If you notice around here, there's a, a well that's being built and they're getting ready to start fracking. Um, and then if we look up here, there's a couple of gentlemen working for Kainai Resources Incorporated um, and they're threatening to call the police because of our blockade and where we are. Um, and they're threatening to arrest the non-blood tribe members that are here offering solidarity for our blockade. Um, so, we just hope that others can come out and support us, and we just wanted to document what's going on out here. Okay, I'm going to go to Elamaya Apiniskeum Tail Feathers. Hello, my name is Elamaya Apiniskeum Tail Feathers. I'm here on the Blood Reserve, or Kainai, in southern Alberta. It's part of the Blackfoot Confederacy. Uh, I'm here with Kathy Brewer. Uh, we are protesting the hydraulic fracturing that is about to begin on traditional blood land. Um, and Kathy here is going to tell you what we're all doing here. Okay, nisto ako na duwa ka kado sa akin. Okay, kimo ng si H C po y. Kisto kaya ko nisto pi mo. Kani. Okay, kimo ng si nisto na nti da best pinan mo si mo si si ko. Okay. Those of you who don't understand, those of us that are here this afternoon are protesting the damage to the lands, the damage to the environment, and to the lack of consultation by those in, in charge of consulting with the common people. That's why we are here today to try to protect the lands, try to protect the environment. As a grandmother and a, and a mother, and as a member of the Blood Tribe, I have a vested interest, like everyone, and that shares Mother Earth with us to help protect what we have. The treaties pushed us here. We don't have another land to go to. And that's all we're saying is protect what we have for the future generations. 